In this exercise, we will learn some basic features in SOLIDWORKS. So, let us start. You will see in nodes all dimensions are in millimeter. H is equal to height for educational scale 1 is to 1. Now, this is the our new exercise. Now, you will see this is isometric view. So, we have to first choose from where we are going to start. So, I am going to start with this face. You will see this I will consider as a right plane. Now, you will see the overall length 80, 180 millimeter, height 22 millimeter. Similarly, you will see here 125 is the height at the angle of 55 degree, depth 22 millimeter and the width you will see here 90 millimeter. Then later we will add this one see inside depth 20 millimeter now 90 millimeter is going to be width definitely and uh, 55 millimeter distance from this corner to here so let's do this now in this case first we have to choose any plane if you select a sketch it will ask you which plane you like to keep. So, I am going to select right plane because this is going to be match with our geometry. Okay. Now, here I am going to activate line tool. Now, I start from here, drag here, right click, exit, smart dimension. Now, this is going to be 180, okay, 125, okay. Now, let me choose this line and this line and it will show us angle. Now, 55 degrees say yes. Now, look. Now, simply exit and go to features extruded boss base. Activate this feature. Normal view. Now, here we will keep end condition mid plane. Okay, let us solve this issue first width 90 millimeter look it is going to move in both side so that our geometry will be symmetrical it is really help us to do further operations okay let's activate again normal view now look thin feature is activated because this is open profile it is not closed profile so you can't change it now it is moving in one direction two direction mid plane we already discussed in our previous lecture so keep one direction and here width how much 22 see ok select this face sketch now activate line tool ok let us start from here to here and if you go back to the point and again move cursor see the line uh, converted into arc now place something somewhere like here then here and close this profile okay activate smart dimension this width is shown 55 millimeter isometric view extrude now here from is we will keep same plane now end condition or direction we will make how much 20 millimeter but it is moving wrong direction so simply reverse direction click on this arrow and it will be in opposite direction say ok now here let us finish this one now there is one cut out 23 millimeter depth 6 millimeter and this is if you count distance from here to here 85 plus 30 it is 115 millimeter. I will choose this face, sketch, activate here corner rectangle. Okay. Zoom, activate smart dimension 23, height going to be 6 millimeter, and distance from here to this end. it is actually 30 plus 85 it's 115 millimeter activate extruded cut feature zoom now here plane we will keep same end condition i'll choose through all 
look this is going to cut up to end of this phase say yes look now next create this one you will see this is distance 30 millimeter height 40 millimeter but this is lies at the angle of 25 so first we have to create a plane then this outer radius 28 then there is a small circles 35 55 see internal 55 and the height is 10 millimeter okay so first we have to create a plane so activate here plane now first reference i am going to choose this one the second reference i am going to select this edge now this is moving totally in opposite direction so let's change 30 degree now look this is not 30 this is 25 degree flip offset now look this is going to be like this and this is what we want okay now click plane sketch okay let's activate line tool and i am going to start from this edge move little here again move cursor and again go back to the point and see the line converted into arc complete a close profile a smart dimension now this one going to be 40 millimeter now radius going to be 28 millimeter now distance from this end is 30 millimeter look the profile is fully defined but still we will make two more profile activate circle tool one two activate smart dimension now this diameter 35 and the internal one 15 millimeter check isometric view now simply exit and activate extruded boss base feature now here everything first from we will keep as it is blind i will tell you at the end you will see selected contour so i am going to select this outer edge see if i move my cursor over the line you will see it is become highlighted or orange color simply select the line and see the whole thing selected don't select region otherwise you will select you have to select one by one all reverse direction now this is still not perfect so here one option drop down the menu of direction one to next up to next look say yes look how it is perfectly defined again drop down select sketch 4 extrude now this time here in selected contour i am going to choose this region so just move cursor over this region and see it is highlighted and it is upward direction end condition i'll keep blind because it is moving in perfect direction height 10 millimeter say okay look now right click on the plane hide see this is what we want now comes here now here one counter bore hole diameter 22 depth 20 20 means the width of this then counter bore diameter 45 depth 12 millimeter okay 55 millimeter from here and here one more cut out 28 width depth 5 millimeter okay then here one more cut out you will see the depth is 5 millimeter here there is a tapered angle 30 degree and outer width 40 millimeter so let's do this First, I am going to activate hole wizard. Choose your legacy hole in type counter bore. Now, comes here the main diameter 22. Depth, I am going to choose up to next. So, you don't need to change. If you change, it will show you this notification. Counter bore diameter, it's 45. Counter bore diameter depth it is 12 millimeter okay rest you don't need to change anything simply go to position 3d sketch choose this face and move cursor just move cursor over edge and you will find out origin point 
just place on this escape key to out check isometric view now look that's perfect a sketch now here again we want to create one corner rectangle okay create one relation hold shift key select arc and edge tangent relation smart dimension now this is going to be 28 mm okay now we want to make it at center so the best thing activate center line now if you move cursor you will see one yellow point that is the mid point of this line start from here move cursor and uh, you will see here center point of this arc click escape key to out click this line vertical see this is fully defined this sketch extruded cut now in this cut keep end condition blind depth here 5 mm say okay look select this face sketch again the same thing activate line tool okay now if you move cursor you will see center point or mid point start a line from here to find out keep if you keep cursor on any circular edge you will find out mid point c place now this is this should be construction line so click construction geometry first make sure this is vertical okay now hold shift key select these two edge lines and center one and leave cursor or uh, shift key and you will see this pop up window symmetric smart dimension 5 mm now let me choose select this one and select the point and you will see this triad select the upper one okay 30 mm that's perfect now this one 40 mm now look this is fully defined sketch activate extruded cut feature now here what we are going to say let's choose up to next if i choose up to next it's going to cut up to this end oh look you can edit appearance something like this I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching